song or rhythm, let no sweat, that's what I'm giving them now. They know, they talk about the hammer, they talk about the show that's hype and tight. Sing the sing the fast no mic or tape to learn. Let's do that to the dog who burn the charts. Legit, either work hard or you might as well quit. Hold up, man. Hammer, Stanley Brown from Oakland said, he said, eat to work hard or you might as well quit. Man, lyrics and that's, that's some strong ass message. Eat to work hard or you might as well quit. Lyrics and bars from Hammer. You wouldn't expect the lyrics and bars, you just wanted to dance, but he just made me think, that you ain't working hard, you might as well quit. Damn it, Hammer. It's the Ryan Ray Show, man. Y'all know by now, I do my show with my crib. I take my segments, we put it all in one show for you to sit back and enjoy. Uh, Stand-up clips, uh, reaction clips, uh, debates, all this stuff, man. Podcasts, all this stuff, man, on one show. Because I'm from that world. So I'm inviting you to my world. So come on in. Let's have some fun. You guys going to enjoy it. And if you do or don't, just push the like button. That's pretty much all you're trying to get. And subscribe. Like, don't forget to subscribe. You know, people forget to subscribe. So subscribe to it, man. And uh, we're going to keep delivering, bro. Enjoy. Okay. So, um, when was the last time you talked to your cousin, TK? I don't know. I don't remember when the last time I talked to him. You know, he's famous. Shit. He, ain't, he got that special. I seen him on the special. The who raised you special. I thought that was classic. That's top 10, because that's, that's family, you know? But I, I don't, we probably talked about a few months ago, or whatever you want to say. I can't pinpoint the date, but we talked then. And it was pretty cool, you know? You know, it's like a running joke with your, with your cousin of how he's always at every event possible the last 40, 50 years. So that's right. About politics. Right. Events, like he knows every celebrity. He does know everybody. Why, why, would, why would he lie to you? You know what I'm saying? He's one of the most straightforward guys in the game. He's the most underrated comedian of all time. Like, why not? If he's not there, I'm there. You know what I mean? He's there. If he's not there, I'm there. So somebody with Kirkland going to be in the building. Were there any events that you were there that he wasn't there? Yeah, it was that day. Um, What was that day? Um. Kobe's last game. He's like, I can't make it. I was there for Kobe's last game. You know what I mean? You don't see me in the back of Snoop Dogg. I'm in row 17, and I was right there with Kobe's last game. I was at the VMAs a couple of years ago when um, um, Beyonce pronounced that she was pregnant. I was right there, right behind Jay and Lady Gaga. You know what I mean? I was there. Where else? It would name some more places. Well, well, he wasn't there. I was there. What about Motown 25? Motown 25. I was a youngster, but I was there. I was there when Michael Jackson did the moonwalk. Why, why not, you know? Any words to anyone out there who's looking to get in this business? Hey, know what you're doing out there. You know what I'm saying? Don't waste your time. Why? You know what I'm saying? If you just out here trying to perpetrate and, and like, yo, I'm a, I'm just a gigolo, just say you a gigolo. That's wrong. You got to get ready to be used, man. And you got to be able to use people. Because that's what it's about. It's about using people for what they give you. And that's America right there. That's all we doing. Everybody just using each other. So why not use it and get some pussy on the way? All right, that's all right. Thanks for having me. I like your spot. And you got a bicycle back here. You trying to be informed, get in shape for the women. That's pretty good. Like, but that other show, what's that show with that other guy that got going? But he, cousin was on there a lot, that uh, Vlad TV. He got the drones back there. I don't understand that. Like, I understand I'm in your apartment and you got a bike and you want to be in shape. But he got drums back there. Why you got drums? Like, is Sheila E coming and, and going to do a solo between the, the interview or something? She going to do Glamorous Life or Love Bazaar? I don't know. Like, why you got the drums back there if you watching this? Like, please tell me what the drums are for. Man, that titty milk got me high as hell. I'm sleeping in the mud. That shit was good, though. We ain't gonna get some more of that, man. You know what I'm saying? With the... <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, ABC, one, two, three, Big Bird, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we we'll get some more of that titty milk, though. Straight up, man. We stop playing. <laughs> Yo, we all stop playing these games get my titty milk, man. What up, y'all? It's Comedian Ronnie Ray, and this is off my chest. Today, I'm going on TV, man. I'm going on TV, man. I'm going on television. Cable television. 
stars. I'm going to the power universe. Did they call it the power universe? Whatever they call it, man. I'm going to it, man. It's not no one particular one. It's the ones I've already seen. I need to know something. I need to ask 50 Cent, what's my lady now? I forgot the lady that's in charge of the show who writes this, these um, epic dramas. Um, I like to know, um, why is it always wintertime on y'all show? Like, New York has summer. Like, why is it always wintertime on the show? Like, what is, what is that shit? You know what I'm saying? Everybody rocking winter coats. It's always like October when they doing this. I know this ain't the same year, so they just go through no violence, no drug dealing throughout the other three seasons, but they wait to winter for all the chaos. Don't understand that. Looking at Tariq, Tariq go to, high, go to college. He there for 10 weeks. He's the man. He running around with, 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 the, with the flannel on with his damn uh, the, the Marty McFly of life preserver. He doing his thing. He got winter clothes on. And, I, I, and another thing, why? When does he charge his phone? Like, this dude uses his phone all day. He does not have a damn charger near him. Never, he never does. He always walking. He don't have a car. He gets everywhere on the subway. I ain't been in New York in years. And I don't understand why the hell he just gets, ah, oh, I'll be there in a little while. He always gets to the spot on time. The train never stopped nothing. Nobody fuck around, be naked or something, had to stop the damn thing or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand that. Explain to me these power people. I don't understand. It's always one time, and y'all never charge your damn phone. And y'all shoot people for nothing. Y'all just shoot people with a broad daylight and just walk away. That damn, um, t- what's his name? What's his name? Tommy? Tommy? Tommy just kill people in broad daylight and walk away. Don't even look around and see you. No run, nothing. You just walk down the street like it's nothing. But for me to know all that, I'm hooked on the show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to be hooked to the show to know what's going on. But I'm watching it, and I'm expecting the unbelievable. I'm expecting the TV magic. And y'all never used to amaze me, man. I'm like, what is this every time? But I'm watching it still. I'm all on every season. Like, yo, I'm waiting for my man Tommy show to come on. They filming it right here in Chicago. So I'm like, looking forward to it. But yet still, that's just how I am. It, it kind of bothers me. My mom watching. She be like, you always looking for something. Hey, look, I ain't stupid out here. Why is it always wintertime? Why can't y'all ever, why don't y'all ever charge your phones up? How was the mom in, in uh, um, book two? In jail with no phone charger, but a phone in the damn jail and nobody hearing it ring, nothing shit like that. I don't understand that. That was Tasha. If you ain't see it, so fuck with her. We don't care. But your power fan, you know what I'm talking about. Don't disrespect. I'm happy black people work. I'm happy black people work. Congratulations, 50 Cent. I forgot the lady's name. I'm sorry, I should have wrote that down beforehand. But hey, Courtney, Courtney Kemp. Courtney Kemp. Thank you. Thank you for. Giving jobs to black people. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Method Man. Surprisingly great, great actor, man. I, I, I enjoy watching him. Everybody else on the show. Ah, I just finished Kanan. I'm waiting for Tommy Show. Ready to watch Tommy Show? They're going to be outside shoveling the snow. Why the shit? Because <laughs> go out with me wintertime. It's never summer on this shit. So uh, that's pretty much all, man. Um, Oh my chest, feel good about it, man. Feel good. Now I'm gonna go watch um Black Mafia Family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And shout out to my man, London Brown, comedian. It was on the ground with your boy, man. Shout out to London. London killing it on that, man. Literally killing people. Like he got out of the hospital and just started shooting people one episode. I'm like, damn. And he ain't get he ain't no consequence for him either. But hey, he working. He, he, he a good guy. So he deserves the money. So keep working, London. Make it happen. Oh my chest. Ronnie Ray. Yeah. But um Again, that was an arranged threesome. You see, that's why arranged shit don't usually work out. It just has to be like super spontaneous, for the moment. Okay, just wild, just like you know, and it just happens. Like, ooh, how did that just happen? You know, it can't really be forced or planned or something. Too uh, awkward. Uh, arranged sex is awkward. Yeah, that's garbage. Yeah, I don't like when women talk too much. You know what I mean? Like, really? Come on. So we gonna do it right here. What we gonna do right here? Yeah, I had one girl like we gonna do it right here. You just wanna lay right here, okay? You want me to take this off? Why are you talking so fucking much? You know what I'm saying? And oh, what else I don't like? What the fuck else I don't like? I don't like fucking smiling. I don't like women smiling when I'm smashing. You don't be fucking smiling. This ain't about no joke shit. This is about smashing. Oh my You're supposed to be fucking groaning, moaning with pleasure. I don't want to see no teeth. Stop that shit. Oh my god. <laughs> you need to be moaning and groaning 
With all smash. That's kind of funny. You're like you're like a whole comedian. You're like, listen, bitch, it's the time and place. It's the time and, and place with that whole shit. This ain't it. <laughs> so we're gonna do it right here. Should I lay back this way? Why are you talking to me now? This ain't time to talk. When I cut them lights off, you shut your ass up. No. <laughs> okay. I sound like Stephen A. Smith with that shit. No, I'll play it, I'll play it. He's that but, bitch like a bird put a blanket over his head. No, 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 no. I'm I'm kidding, people. I'm not that crazy, but that's what I'm thinking <laughs> in my head. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Like, okay, now we don't need all this talking. Fuck that. This is silent time. That's funny. There, listen. There's three times in my life, or three places in my life, when I shut the fuck up. Because as you know, I talk a lot. As anybody know, I talk a lot. Mm. Um, but massage, yoga, and sex ain't shit to be said, man. There you go. You're supposed to be vibing on a whole different frequency. You're supposed to be able to speak telepathically. You feel me? Yeah. You shouldn't have to say a motherfucking word. There you go. I mean, if you do, an occasional like, mm, yeah. oh my God, that's my pussy? Maybe something like that. But just like, mm, you say like two words the whole time. There you you go. don't talk. You don't say, make sentences and stuff. Yeah. Have punctuation. There and you shit. go. And you know, we had sex before. And if you did that, I was like, yeah, just like you. I would have told you. But you don't. You don't do that. So, Mm-mm. all good. Everybody else, shut your ass up. I don't need that extra talk. Not cool. This is relationships. We're talking about wild sex stuff, and I'm talking about I want silence doing sex. Other than if it's not moaning, <laughs> I had nothing to do with my damn penis in you. I don't want to hear you talking. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> has there ever been... What's up, y'all? It's comedian Love Comedy. Oh, that's right, right? Yeah, you know, you goddamn it. Oh, Ken Hamlet's in the building. <laughs> Eric Mitch Mitchell's in the building. Thanks, baby. Arkansas's in the motherfucking building. Pine Bluff. Is it in this bitch? Yeah, it's Pine Bluff. I'm not from Pine Bluff. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the only Camden. Thing. I was like, Pine Bluff. I don't even know where that was. Pine Bluff is the only city I know in Arkansas. I heard Pine, so I was thinking Pine Tree. Oh, Little Rock. Yeah, I saw Little Rock here, Pine Bluff here, and Camden's here. And that's Pine Bluff. I missed Camden, yeah. Yeah, fuck. That's. Nah, it don't matter. Well, that's where you're from, and he's a comedian. Right, comedians love comedy. That's what the fuck it is. Okay, question of the day. Yep. Don't bullshit yourself. Mm. It's okay. Mm. Give me three comics. We don't have to know them. Give me three comics you you was afraid to follow. Who? Who? And why? Three comics you're afraid to follow and why? No, you ever go, go. You can be somebody you know. You can damn near give them, you know, shout out and shit, but okay, well, okay. that ain't scared of me. <laughs> can I? Can I go? Can I you go, go first, 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 Yeah. Um, give me time to think. First comic, afraid to follow. This dude, Nate Jackson. I know Nate. Yeah. He, every, people know Nate across the country. Nate is fucking hilarious. He hosts a show. He has a own comedy club. He has a comedy club now. Yes, Nate Jackson, super funny comedy club. Shout out to them. To come to Washington, go to the club. Amazing. Probably the most beautiful club I've performed in across the country. And I've been to a lot of fucking places. But Nate is one of the toughest acts to follow, bruh. I remember early on, Nate's room is like one of those spaces where you can get ate up. By the crowd. And those early, this is before the club. So, like, you go to Nate's room, they're there to see Nate. Yeah. They do not give a fuck about the famous headliners he's bringing out. Mm -hmm. And I'm just a regular ass nigga on the show. Mm -hmm. So, every time you go out, you got to follow Nate because he's hosting. So, he bring you out. And so, they are clinking plates. They're talking. They're doing whatever. So Nate was always one of the acts where, and Nate is a dude that will, he'll see something so minute, make it funny. The whole crowd is laughing, and then he'll do callbacks to that small, little thing throughout his set. And it's just crowd work and riffing. So Nate, off the rip, always a guy. I, every time I work with him, I'm always like, yo, I'm learning so much from you. Shout out to Nate. He's my big brother. Uh, guy I never really want to follow. Scary as fuck, because he's funny as shit. And then my guy, Lance Edward, in Portland. That's what this dude is just, he's like, he's, uh, I don't want to say he's a budget Nate, because that would just be doing a disservice to him, but very similar, where those guys are just, mon- like when they take over the room, 
they just take over the room. And so, like, if he's not headlining, and all the time I tell people, like, do not put him as an opener spot. Don't put him as a feature spot. He has to be the last comic up because he's just a guy that's going to take over the fucking room. Like, he is a guy that just, the energy is crazy. The It's hard. He's just hard to follow. He just, uh, to this day, he has jokes, <clears throat> three jokes that I think should be on TV, and I tell him that all the time. He's amazing out of Portland, Oregon. Lance Edward, and then who, my third comic, third comic that I've worked with, that's tough, because there's not too many people I don't want to follow, like, I'm very confident in myself in comedy, so it's hard, but a third comic, you know what, <clears throat> I would say Ronnie, I would say Ronnie, it, this is the thing, we work together all the time. And, like, I'm a guy that likes to do crowd work. That's what this question is for. <laughs> oh, for comments. No, I'm bullshit. I didn't know this. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, but really, like, we when we work together, I'm just like, Ronnie's a dude that does crowd work. I do a lot of crowd work. And so I'm like, if somebody goes up and I, like, they're, most people, the crowd work is all right, whatever, whatever. But, like, Ronnie will do, which we just did a fucking show in the middle of nowhere where you did 35 minutes of crowd work. And then right, did Indiana? ten minutes. Now this was the Rockford. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, both, got no we both did it. Though. Yeah, I was like, neither of us told. I'm like, I'm following your ass. Like, this is what we doing? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I would have hate to follow you in that in that scene because that would have been tough. Mm. But because uh, it's like you'll go up and just do crowd work and just and like it leaves no space for the crowd work. Like you're just everything that you can think of. You said. The crowd now is just so on your end. Yeah, wait, wait, the drink I got it. No, that way. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so it's like uh, that's always that's big props. Uh, major homage to you because it's like it's hard. Like those people that are like don't and I'm there's nobody out there that I'm like I'm not, I'm even to this day I still follow everybody and I know I'm gonna do my own thing. But like there's people I'm like this gonna be tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We got to work tonight. Right. So yeah, right. those are those are my big three. All right. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a co-sign Ken on that one because I was thinking about that, dude. Uh, when we first got together, when we first started working together, it's like you know you had been in this shit for a minute, and I was still learning this shit. And even to this day, like we've all had those those tight crowds, just like tight as fuck. Mm -hmm. And you go out there and fucking don't tell a single joke and be killing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like. Fuck, I'm going out with my A shit and I may get a chuckle. Like, fuck you, Ronnie. And I mm. gotta follow this motherfucker. And yeah, so yeah, legit, real talk. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm over it now, but it's been in the beginning. It was like, fuck, man, this dude, he's killing it. And I'm finna go out there and ruin this shit. But I don't know if that's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finna go out there and ruin this shit. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, I mean, I'm being real. I'm being yeah. real. And then. Honestly, the second one, I don't know if I have a third one because, like, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough to say you scared of a motherfucker, you know? No, well, no, well, you a little worried. I'm sorry. Even no, it's thing. real. No, that's what it is, though. Like, you little, like you scared. Like, you have to check your man who's right. at the door. Right. And be like, it's tough to follow people. So, but it's, it's kind of hard for me to say I'm scared, scared of a motherfucker. But, hmm. I mean, run, I'm being real. You, and then, and this is going to sound crazy. Y'all got to cheat last time. I'm cheating this time. The city of Chicago. Hmm. Cause like I'm gonna disagree wholeheartedly. Uh, I, I don't know what you're saying though. Okay, but you got okay. One, I came to the game late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, I was out in the suburbs, and three, I knew Chicago was a pit stop on the way to fame. Mm. So yeah, fair, fair. I just assumed everybody in Chicago was killed. Monster, yeah. Everybody. Mm, yeah. You know, if you if you pissed in Chicago, you was a killer. Why else would you be out here? Yeah. And I got to my first open, and I was like. When I got to my first open mic, I think we talked about this. Yeah, yeah, we did. I, I was at Billiards mm -hmm. over there towards Wrigleyville, but not quite in Wrigleyville. I think I know Damon or some shit. All right. And uh, heard first comment. I'm like, okay, he must be new. And by the time I got to the sixth or seventh comment, because of course you're always like 20th. Yeah. I'm like, these niggas ain't no different than me. Yeah, I want to be did my shit and get my chuckles and whatever. But for a while, I was scared of every fucking comedy that performed mm. I knew about Chicago. Because it's like, you don't go to Chicago unless you're ready to go to the next level. Yeah. And as far as third, I'm being real with you, man. I mean, 
for better or worse, and it's not a cocky thing, like you said earlier, it's just, you know, I'm, not just I'm just not scared of you. Mm-hmm. I'm just not. You may go up there and you may actually kill me. Who knows? Yeah. But I ain't, yeah. ain't going to be scared of your ass. Yeah. I'm yeah. just going to go up there and do what I, I do. Do my life, you know? yeah. Go right down R. Kelly way. Maybe, <laughs> that, that one always works. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to, I shouldn't have said afraid or scared, but no, they no, give you a little, little that's problem. That's really what it is. That's pretty really much what it is. Yeah. But yeah, um, I wouldn't even say that. I would say not even follow. I would say I had to lead in. I had to lead in, and they followed me. Yeah. And they made motherfuckers forget I was there. Bruh, I done had that. Tony um, Rock. Huh? Tony Rock. Um, yeah, the no, guy's name Tony, though. <laughs> Fucking Tony Roberts. Oh. I, I don't know why this dude ain't a millionaire. No, I mean, like, this is the funniest motherfucker I've ever seen. Like, I just fucking laugh every time he start talking. Yeah. And I remember um, Michael Jackson, the day before Michael Jackson died. I was at the Hog Cafe. Mm-hmm. I'm about to go up, and they're like, yo, Tony wants to Tony wants to come in and take your spot, and you got to go behind him. I'm like, nah, fuck that. I ain't doing <laughs> that shit. I literally said, I'm not doing that shit. No. <laughs> That's and, fear. That's fear. That was fear. <laughs> And I'm like, fuck that. No, nope, I ain't doing it. And they let somebody else go. And I still wound up bombing because he killed so hard two yeah. comments before. That's how good he is. And it's like, yo, the what the wasn't fuck? wasn't settled still. Yeah. This dude is a fucking killer, man. Like, yeah, damn, he don't fucking stop, man. He's Black Rodney Dangerfield and shit. Him, Tony Tony Baker, is my him. boy and but shit. It's but it's like, yo, we did a lot of shows together. Yeah. But when I, I see him coming from one way yeah. and growing, and um, it's another lead in. It wasn't me following him. It was leading into because I went up before him. He was late. And he like, well, you just go before me. And he comes in after I get out. And I kind of had like a fucking mediocre set. This mother comes in, and they just fucking forget. After he got off, they forgot I was there. Yeah. They fucking forgot I was there. Yeah. <sighs> him. And me and he, me, Tony and this guy was supposed to do go on a road together. I got a picture from 09 Comedy mm-hmm. Grind Tour and shit. Um, his name is Sam Conroe. Sam, I met Sam. Sam has Tourette's. And I met him when he was fucking 18. No, he fucking paid like a month from this shit now. Yo, I went saw him at the improv a couple of months ago. We went up to um Pachanga in San Diego. And they like, come on down, got a set for y'all, y'all getting this money. So we drove down there together. And he like, man, I go first and you go second, whatever. I'm like, I bet. So he went up and he tanked. And I, I killed. And I'm like, fuck that. I killed. I don't give a fuck. You cool, man? No, you, you did all right, man. You straight, man. Don't worry about that shit, man. Hey, we had McDonald's on the way back. So we, he ride he riding home like, man, they want they wanted us to come back. And he's like, man, we can go back. and killing it, man. Kill that shit. Mm. Man. Yeah. I, I've never seen that shit before. He mm-hmm. went up and he crowd worked that shit. And he didn't even get... To the Tourette's joke shit. Like the killer shit. Yeah. He is crowd working and then bringing these motherfuckers back. And it's like, oh shit. Yeah. And they forgot I was, this is how bad they forgot I was there. He was selling his CDs and I would try to sell my shit. And he like, nobody buy my shit. Like, I'll put mine and say, um, buy mine and get his, yeah. whatever. And I'll give you the money for it. He told one of, no, I don't want his. I want your shit. I was like, God damn. God damn! Like, no, nah, I don't know that he was that show. <laughs> oh, you don't even know who was this guy? Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> is this Ronald Gray? <laughs> like, who was this nigga? Like, really? Like, damn! damn. And we were on it. Who was on it? Ocean Delay, um, Jay Reed from um, damn, from yeah. 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 They were they were the, that was the show, but we had the guest watch, and that motherfucker killed that ten minutes so hard. They ain't even fuck with them dudes. They talking to this, bro. That's crazy. So them three. Yeah, everybody, I know a lot of motherfuckers too, but them three, I was like, shit, yeah. fuck, they on the show, but they fucking kill us still to this day, so. Those three, so Tony Baker, Tony Roberts, Sam Conroe, uh, my favorite comics, man. Look, my comics, comics I had a little problem with. Mm. Still do. Like, to see them perform, it's like, shit, it's like, effort, effort, I can't even say the word. They got the shit. They got it. <laughs> they got it, nigga. Like, okay, I see them on the bill, I pay to see them motherfuckers, straight up. Yeah, yeah. All the people that I named, I would it's, it's Lance Edward, Nate Jackson, and uh, uh, and you. I would pay to see everybody. I literally you headlining uh, the comedy shrine. I was like, bro, I'm there. I don't gotta. I see ain't paying shit. Yeah. Just you ain't paying. I ain't paying, but I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this shit free. I'm eating pizza with this motherfucker. But yeah, there's some other guys too. Um, other I don't know, mentions, yeah, yeah, but yeah. There's plenty yeah, of guys. Chris there. Delia and a lot of guys that's like hot. And it's oh, like, yeah, yeah okay, I see it. Yeah, so. I think you can only answer that question with cats you've worked with or cats you know personally. Because otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is comedy. Yeah. talking comedy. So shit, yeah. yeah. It's all people that I've worked. I would never say I'm scared to open for or, or work after somebody else. I don't think there's too many, there's not too many people even like a lot of the greats even guys that I love I think that I could follow a lot of them still um, I just there's certain guys that like that energy and the shit that they bring to the table aside from famous I, if you've ever worked with famous people they that shit is different mm-hmm. like people come to see them they're not there to see you uh, but like there's guys that are famous that still got the juice like yeah that's different yeah. yeah. No, the, the be up close and the scene, it's like, it's a, another experience, bro. Yeah. Like, shit. Like, Dang, fuck I ain't this guy, nothing. man. Fuck this fucking guy. I wish I wrote that joke type shit. So, yeah. Those are the guys. Yeah. Those I just guys. figured out it was trying. Hmm? I just figured out that it was trying. I saw you looking at the shirt, too. Well, I couldn't see the middle dude. Was that fight? Was that fight? Yes, fight. It took me a minute, just like, I was trying to. <laughs> the dark one. No, I'm just saying, like, okay, the the color of the shirt that looked like uh, the, the what was the CD? Midnight Marauders. Like, is that? Is That's that the titles of the song. What? In the back. Why ain't we changing your shit? Yeah, you, you look. Like, okay, yeah. but that's it. Fuck. Oh no. To me, you look at me, yo. Who are you afraid to follow, huh? Who are you afraid to go in front of, huh? Tribe called Quest. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, <laughs> like button, like, subscribe, tell some friends and shit. They they do. Bye-bye. Tell some friends, subscribe, <laughs> follow and shit, and this motherfucker here is just interrupted for no damn reason. VIP or something? What the fuck? Y'all can be right here. Join us up here. See that comedy power? That com- they ain't want to come in the front. They had all the opportunity. They're like, man, we'll sit in the back. Get your ass up in front. I just want to give you some space. <laughs> You'll see, this shit ain't jam packed up in this. Just- <laughs> I can do a back to the box, still do this shit. <laughs> Can't do it no more. Okay, what's the deal with y'all? What do y'all mean that? Oh, we're just friends. Yeah. Uh, we went to high school together. Yeah. <laughs> Whose conception was the friendship? It was you, wasn't it? Me? We can just be friends. He don't want to. She just got cut. I guess it is. Hey, you got a man? Yeah, I do. And you were hanging out with him? Yeah. <laughs> is that weird? Yeah. yeah. I, I can't judge y'all. Y'all paid tickets to be here. They paid for tickets tonight. So, hey, man, fuck that. Whatever y'all want to do. It's me, you, Charlie, and Cleo in this bitch. That's what we do. <laughs> you ain't never looked at it all like shit. She just got on the fly. She, uh, I can't tell she got all her teeth, but I think she got all her teeth under that mask. <laughs> Those are the ones you keep. You don't be giving that away, man. What the fuck? Don't be at the wedding crying and shit. Let me, let me fuck you. <laughs> Anybody that don't want to see this coming? It's me, shit. Fuck. I love you. This ain't different world, goddamn. Or ain't the black people got the different world reference? Fuck y'all, goddamn. The Wayne was ready, wasn't he? Man, please, I'm like, goddamn, wasn't it? Yeah. You, you know what? Oh. She, she want me to talk to her. That's my, that's my, yeah, she want me. That's, I was not gonna say nothing. See how I skipped past her to go over here? This is my brother's girlfriend. <laughs> my brother's girlfriend, she comes to the show, sit right in the front, dare me to say shit to her, and I don't say anything to her because I know her. But she talking shit about a fucking different world. We got to talk today. What is it about the show you don't like? Why you ain't like that I shit? I didn't like the episode because he was manipulating her. He waited till her wedding day. Damn. Hell no. Hell no. Oh God. Oh, you watch Different World, Charlie? Charlie, you watch Different World? You never seen Different World? Number two show in America for five years. You never seen? You right here. You never seen Different World? God damn it! Hold on. We got some schooling to do today. You ain't never seen fucking Different World. Cleo, you seen Different World, right? Not the stereotype you, baby, but I'm telling you, this. How the fuck you. Tony, you gotta show them some shit. This shit on Peacock right now, and goddamn um, HBO Max and Amazon. <laughs> Get your Different World bed, John. God damn it, hold up. You didn't like this shit? I didn't like it. Oh my god, man. I'm a grown ass man. You ain't seen this shit? You gotta see it, man. Fuck. Oh my god, y'all really never seen it? No. 
know who. I, I believe him. I can't I tell through the mask. Like, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> you got a Seinfeld quiz, a taxi, god damn it, I'll tell you. <laughs> I like those shows too, but god damn it, different world. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dwayne, man, fuck that shit. You gonna be that guy. You gotta watch it. See, y'all watch it together and be like, look, you know what? He right. This is bullshit. Leave him. It's me and you, god damn it. The way he was dating Whitney is so. I got this. I was gonna do a joke, or something, Cleo, but they got me explaining a different world. Okay. Go ahead, brother. I'm about to. <laughs> you about to go in and not go over here next. So, sis, you gonna work this out? Oh, this is maybe my. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> he was manipulative. You're here, manipulative. Come on, with this shit. Okay. The Wayne Wayne was a nerdy dude. Season one, two, and three. He meets the uh, high class Whitney Gilbert. In college, and nobody fucking with him. He got fuck. He started getting his little clout up, and she started falling in love. They started dating. They dated a while. They got engaged. They broke up. Dwayne went out with a chick. He ain't had sex. They just had goddamn coffee, and she left. Bullshit. Left. She started dating the senator. Senator, like I ain't playing no games. I want to get fucking married now. We only know each other three TV weeks. Goddamn it. And um, <laughs> we getting fucking married. This shit, like fuck it. TV weeks. Uh, so, <laughs> so the day of the wedding and shit, Dwayne started feeling guilty and shit. So, Ron was like, man, his, his best friend Ron was like, I think she still want to be with you. Like, man, you know what? I'm going to take a ride. He rode all the way out there to where the wedding was, went to the door, knocked on the door. She came out and he's like, look, you're always going to be my babe. And hopped the gate and went home. Like, oh shit, that's it? Then the wedding came. Wedding came up, and they started um, doing all the shit, and he popped up at the end, towards the end of it. And so um, she started thinking about him. Everybody in the team, like, just for comedy's sake, they all, everybody was looking like him in the face and shit. There's her mother and dad and the rev, and I'm like, oh shit, this is creepy. Came time, like, um, she like, um, do, you, uh, do you take this man? And she wouldn't say shit. And then Dwayne popped up like, will you? And she's like, oh, she turned around like, oh, oh, hey, no, son, you need to be past that part. No, look, baby, I love you. And baby, please, oh, shit. And she went with him. God damn it, man, I'm about to cry. <laughs> Manipulative. What? He was in love, god damn it. And she was in love with him, too. I will. The funniest shit Diane Carroll tried to say, boy. <laughs> That feels funny. I'm sorry. Y'all have to see it. I'm sorry. But God damn it, watch it. It's going to change y'all life. It's going to change y'all world. It's going to make y'all world different. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate you guys um, for getting all the way to this part. Because people normally cut off. Y'all on attention spans. I whack sometimes, but I love you anyway. Um, ending the show off, we always end off with a dope quote. Positive, positivity, so you guys can take it home and think about it. You know what I'm saying? Today's quote is one of my favorite actresses of all time. Actors, period. I'm not going to even put it in the agenda. I'm going to say actor. Viola Davis, man. Viola Davis be dropping dime. Viola Davis said, you can't, can never hesitate about who you are. Never hesitate about who you are. Meaning, be yourself regardless of what. Never pretend to be anything else but what you are. Cause that's all you can be. Hey, I know y'all probably like, join the army, but you have to be from the ages and that shit. But never hesitate on who you are. Because that you all you got. In the end, you all you got. So that's the show. So take that one. Stick it in your pocket, hang it on your bathroom window, whatever, man. And see you next time, man. God bless. Enjoy yourself.